y'all welcome back in this video not only am i going to be doing a mini brands fashion unboxing opening whatever you want to call it i'm also going to show you how to make some really cute little display stands for your own collection stay tuned and i will show you how to make it hey y'all yes i am back with another really fun video y'all know that i love mini brands i love miniatures i've always loved miniatures i've always wanted a dollhouse never had a dollhouse but i want to make a dollhouse but you know like make it creepy like the adams family house or something but anyway i love miniatures and mini brands just recently came out with mini fashion these are handbags and y'all know i love handbags oh my goodness do i love handbags so anyway 40 plus real fabric fashion bags and accessories to collect i have four of these and what i was thinking I'm like, how can I display these? How can I make sort of like a, a little display case or something? Because I know that if you're like me and you like to collect these things, or if you have children or grandchildren, you know, that like to collect them, we can make a fun way to display them so that they're not just laying all over the place. So anyway, I'm going to get the craft here in a minute. If you want to skip ahead to the craft, go ahead and skip ahead. It's okay, but I wanted to open these up with you guys. Like I said, I got four of them. Now I got mine at Walmart. You can order them on Amazon, but let me let me give you a word here about the ones on Amazon. Read the reviews, because some stores on Amazon are selling them in a two-pack, and a lot of the people leaving the reviews are saying that the ones in the two-packs and in the multi-packs, they're all duplicates. Now, I've never ordered mine from Amazon. I don't know. That's just what I gathered from reading the reviews. I've got moss all over it. Now, for all of these, I'm not going to make you watch me take off the, uh, the plastic. So um, I'll do that off camera and then we'll come back and open them up. But I was looking at these containers. Now, I did do a video where I was showing you how to repurpose mini brands packaging. And this is a nice sphere. I've got moss everywhere, I swear. But this is some really nice packaging and I'm sure that I can figure out something to do with it. But anyway, let's open this up. Here's your little collector's list. I don't want to look at that. I just want to look at the goodies. So let's see. Open this up. Oh! Oh, how cute. It's a sticker. It's a sticker. And I knew that they came with stickers. And I'm going to try to incorporate that into the display that we're about to make. So anyway, oh, I got three things. So it looks like some sunglasses. And a little container of something. Possibly some face cream. And a little compact. How cute is that? Now, does a compact open? Don't know. We shall use our nails. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? It's got a tiny little mirror. <laughs> it's got some makeup in it that says MF. <laughs> I could say something about that. Oh, look, open it up and look. It actually looks like cream. I mean, it's got the little swirlies and everything. How cool is that? I would have loved that when I was little. The sunglasses. And now let's open the bag. You know, I never did like Barbies. I couldn't stand Barbie. I liked My Little Ponies and Micro Machines. That's what I liked. And G.I. Joe. I had G.I. Joe. Oh, how cute. Look at that. Oh, and it's like a, I mean, I know it's not leather, but like a leather-like type material. Look at this. Look at these little bags. <laughs> oh, and a little clasp. Let's see if I can get it to, to snap here. Oh, how adorable is this? How cute is that? Oh my goodness! Then all of our little goodies and a sticker. I was hoping the sticker would match the bag because that's going to kind of like interfere with my plans here. But um, it's okay. We'll figure something out. So let me take the plastic off of those and we'll open them up. Those were a pain in the tush to get open. Let me tell you that. I did use my, um, my little knife here to get those open. Let's get this plastic off of here. All right. Yay! I love them. I love them. You know what? I think these will make some really good bath bomb molds, too, if you're into making your own bath bombs, which I do. Um, they're pretty sturdy feeling. Let's open up the accessories packet for this one first. And we have some things. Uh, we have a sticker. Yeah, there's supposed to be like some limited edition gold bags, too. But there's that sticker. And then we have a tube. This could be skin cream, could be some toothpaste. We have another little compact, and I'm assuming it's the same as the other. Yes, there's a little compact. And another pair of sunglasses. 
And so please don't give me any duplicates. I'm, I'm always terrified of getting duplicates. Oh, how cute is that? It's like a bucket bag. How cute. A little paper down in there. Now let's pull this back. I'm trying to be gentle so I don't tear it. It's got your little slide right here. Where is it? Does it slide? Oh, yes, it does slide. It was just giving me a hard time. So there's our little bucket bag. How adorable is that? Oh, my lighting is off. But how cute is that? All right. Oh, Y'all are saying, hurry up and get to the darn craft. No, I don't want to get to the craft. I want to play with toys. Like I said, you can skip ahead if you want to. I'll put those in a bag and keep them. I just hate that I've got like this, this moss stuff all over the place. All right, what else do we have here? Okay, we got another sticker that looks like this one, only this one is purple. And we got another, like the skin cream, I'm going to assume is what that is, and the compact and more sunglasses. I don't want the same bag. Please don't give me the same bag. I got the same bag. It's okay. It's all right. I'll just go get some more. <laughs> oh, I give some of these away. I like to give things away. Let me just give that away. All right. Accessories. All right, so there's a silver bag sticker. All right, there's another compact and the skin cream thing. Okay, and this, does it open? <gasps> it opens! Look, and you have like a little applicator. Looks like some uh, lip gloss. Oh, how cute. If I get <laughs> if I get another same bag, which I did not, okay. Ooh, now I like this green. I don't usually like green, but look at that. Look at that bag. How adorable is that? Okay, and I think the containers that I got to make my craft, I think it's gonna work just fine with these. So how cute is that? Oh my gosh, they are adorable. All right, so let me clean up my mess here and let's get on with the craft. All right, my friends, let's get started with it. So first off, we're gonna be painting some of these wooden beads. Okay, where are the sizes? Well, I don't think it really has a size. Yep, here's the size. We're gonna be painting some wood beads, okay? And these came from Joann's. Now, I do have some of these wooden craft dowels. They came from Dollar Tree. And when I paint beads, mine is a complete mess over here, so I'm gonna make a brand new one to show y'all how I paint beads a lot of times. You're gonna take two of those wooden dowels, and then you're gonna get you a pipe cleaner. Let's open up these beads without making a mess. And for each little display that we're making, we're gonna need four. Okay, four beads per display. So let's just get out four beads here, okay? Now I'm gonna thread those beads onto this pipe cleaner. Like so. Why are you not working with me? Okay, thread them onto the pipe cleaner. As you can see, this pipe cleaner is fairly large and the beads are not gonna spin, they're not gonna slide around. So now we're just gonna take that and let us wrap it around one of the dowels like so, just to hold it on there. We're gonna do the same thing. Let's see, let's go this way with it. I'm just gonna wrap it around like so, okay? And now you're gonna take it and you're gonna stick it down into a block of foam, like so. See, and that's gonna hold your beads so that you can paint them, okay? And it keeps them separated so that they can dry and you can put several on here. I just kind of stuck mine in the middle. But anyway, it really helps when you're painting beads. So now I'm going to be using this silver metallic acrylic paint. I got this at Joann's, but of course, you know, Walmart has it too. All right. I always pour my paint into my little doohickey here. Why? Ah! Well, that was a lot. <laughs> okay. So now you're just going to paint your beads. So I'm going to paint these and make sure that they are well covered. And we're going to be coating them with some glitter here in a little bit. But I want to go ahead and get one good coat of paint on here. Let that dry. And then we'll do a second coat. And on the second coat is when we're going to sprinkle on our glitter. 
Alrighty, so while our paint is drying, let's go ahead and start working on our little stand here. So I got this. This is a plastic organizer with the lid, and I got this at Dollar Tree. Now, if you can see on this picture here, it shows where there's like thumbtacks and rubber bands and stuff. So in your store, I don't know where they will be. In my store, they were over, you know, where they have like the salt and pepper shakers and all the kitchen utensils. They were on the bottom shelf over there in that section. But it looks like that should be over in the office section so i don't know but anyway there's three little container holdy thingies well oh my gosh sections that's the word i'm looking for sections and it has a lid and i'm like if this doesn't work i just made a ass out of myself um so let's see let's take this lid off okay all right so we have this and i want it to stand up like this and you can get three bags in here. Come here. <gasps> I think it's gonna work. Lord, I just about choked myself. I'm gonna choke to death on my own spit. Wouldn't that, that would be a glorious way to go down. <laughs> oh my goodness. So anyway, I got this shiny paper. Now this came from Joann's. You can use whatever kind of paper you have, whatever. I just thought that this was pretty. Now, I don't think this is adhesive. It's like a cardstock. Yes, it's cardstock. So I got this and I want to line the bottom here with this. So I don't know. Where's my tape measure? Oh gosh, I'm dropping things. All right. So I don't know how well I can measure this because it's kind of, uh, I mean, this is going to be so difficult to measure. Yep. I'm going to throw that in the floor. I think I'm just going to go with it and see. Let's try to eyeball it, like right about there. Okay, and now I'm going to try to cut a piece that will fit into the bottoms here. Okay, so a little bit change of plan. I thought, what if we could make, like, fill in the back plus get it on the bottom here, okay? So this is a strip that I just cut, and now that I threw the tape measure across the room, I need to get it. All right, so what I wanted to do, let's, let's see how this is gonna fit in here. I need to round the corners just a little bit, I think. But look, look how that just fits in there. Look at that. So now that I've aggravated the crap out of myself trying to do this, I'm gonna take the measurements to make your life easier, okay? So this strip, y'all can see, let's measure. It's right at, right at two and three quarters inch. I know this isn't perfect. So, you know, you just cut yours and then trim it down. Two and three quarters inch by four inches. Two and three quarters wide, four inches tall. Okay. And then I just crammed it in there and bent it to make it fit. Okay. So now I'm going to do, well, I kind of messed those up, but anyway, I'm going to do two more of these to fit down here. And I don't think I'm going to have to glue this in or anything. I mean, that's going to stay. But I do have a glue stick over here where we can tack it down. I don't think I want to use Mod Podge. But, um, yeah, I think this is going to work just fine. So let me cut some more of these. All right, so these are all cut. And I believe they're all going to fit just perfectly. So anyway, I was going to use some Mod Podge. But... It's okay. I think I'm just going to use this glue stick here. And this should work. I mean, they're not going to be moved around or anything. But if you have a kid that's going to be playing with this, you know, I may suggest that you stick it down in there with some Mod Podge. Just in case, you know, they're playing around. They don't pull the paper out. But, um, oh, I think that this is going to work out just fine. I'm hoping so. I hate this darn stupid moss that I got everywhere. All right, let's stick that down in there like so oh my goodness i hope this comes out <laughs> like the the way that i have it in my head you know we have like stuff in our head and then when you sit down and try to make it sometimes it doesn't always work out but um i'm thinking that this will hoping so anyway i spent enough money on it <laughs> all right so there is the beginnings there's the beginnings okay so now what we're going to do is I just wanted to glue something on top just to give a little extra something so you, know, you can pick it up and move it. So anyway, I got these um, drawer pulls, cabinet knobs. These are the Better Homes and Gardens brand at Walmart. And I'm going to tell you right now, you can get them cheaper elsewhere. This was $8 for the two of these um, because I didn't want to go to Lowe's. Excuse me. I didn't want to go all the way to Lowe's. 
Um, so I just grabbed these. That cost a little bit too much for my liking. So just look around. Definitely don't spend what I just spent. So anyway, oh no, I need to take these off here. Just screw those off. But I thought I had some E6000 right here because we are going to glue these on top with some E6000. I want to tack it in place with some hot glue and then glue it down. Anyway, hold on. All right, moving right along. So now we have this, and these are pretty heavy, okay? And you see it's hollow right here. So you're going to have to sort of pump this thing full of hot glue. And then I'm going to put some E6000 right here in the center, okay? So the E6000 is going to give us long-term hold. And then the hot glue is going to kind of help it to hold right now. So we are going to just put this right there. Whoop! Stop it! All right. And then I'm just going to put hot glue all the way around here. Trying to not let them touch because that weakens the bond. Okay. Let's push that glue stick a little bit further down. There we go. And I'm just going to stick this right on top. I'm trying to get it in the center. Okay, I think that looks okay. All right, now I'm gonna hold this in place while that sets up. And then for our beads, I'm going to put on another coat of paint and then I'm gonna sprinkle some glitter on them and then we'll come back and we're gonna glue those to the bottom. My cat's in here talking to me, but listen, y'all, oh my gosh, I have, <laughs> I have an illness. I bought three more when I was at the store a while ago. I, I, oops, I tried to find my diamond wrap and I couldn't find it. So I went to the store, Dollar Tree didn't have any, went to two Dollar Trees and I went to Walmart and I bought three more. Oh my gosh, look, these are the stickers. These are the stickers. And look, I got a little doggy and bottle of perfume. And this looks like it could be either a lip gloss or a liquid eyeshadow. And look at this. Look, a makeup brush with all the little bristles. A makeup brush. I got glue all over my hands. Another bottle of perfume. Two of these little wallets. Another compact. And another bottle of perfume. Look, and it's purple. It's purple. Ah! <laughs> and the lid comes off and I just dropped the other piece of it. I'll pick that up here in a second. Sorry. But look at the bags. Look at the bags. All different shades of purple. That one's kind of pink. But anyway, look at this. This looks purple in real life. It looks kind of pink on camera, but look at that. <laughs> look at these. Oh, look at that. The little... How cute is that? And look at this one. I love this one. This one looks kind of lavender, but look, it's got like little dingle dangles on it. God, isn't it cute? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm like a big kid. I'll pick up the rest of that um, <laughs> perfume bottle here, here in a little bit. Let's get all that stuff put away. And my glue gun is heating up. But anyway, I wanted to decorate the outside of this. See, this is the little lip where the lid snapped down. And I wanted some of this diamond wrap. And I thought I had some, and I didn't. I did, but it wasn't the color I wanted. I have like pink and gold, and I wanted silver. So, went to two Dollar Trees. They didn't have it. Um... Went to Walmart and found this. Oh my gosh, why is this? Where's the end? Might take me a second to open this. I went to Walmart and found this. So I highly suggest you go to Walmart. I mean, a Dollar Tree to get it. But if you can't, Walmart does have it over in the ribbon section. And I was talking to Michelle Noble and she's like, you know, over in the other section where they have like the styrofoam balls and uh, pom pom and stuff like that, you know, like for kid crafts. She said they have it over there too. But anyway, this is really wide, and this is going to last me for a while. But anyway, I'm going to see, and I think just one strip of this will fit that little lip. So when I say one strip, I mean we're going to cut it. See, like one of these, one stone wide, I guess you can say. Yeah. So I'm going to cut a strip to measure all the way around, um, and then I'm going to glue it on. Okay, so I cut this right at 21 and a half inches, just a tad bit longer than 21 and a half inches. Um, so in, in case I screwed it up. Oh, now hold on. Now there's a little piece. This was kind of difficult to cut. Now there's a little 
a little piece hanging out. And I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it because that's driving me crazy. All right. All right, my glue gun should be hot enough. And I think I'm gonna start gluing it down here on the bottom and going around just in case I mess up. Let's see where it's kind of hard. I know my lighting sucks in here right now. I'm sorry. All right, so let's just get that started right there. Just gonna hold that down and let that glue kind of set up just for a second. And then, oh yeah, just one one row of shinies <laughs> will fit just perfectly in that little space where the lid goes. So I'm just going to glue this all the way around and then we will put the beads on the bottom. Okay, so all of that is glued on and this is what we are looking at. Oh, I'm so excited for this to be done. All right, so now we have four of our beads and we're just going to glue those beads in the corners right here to act as little feet, okay? And I wanted to put some clear spray paint or Mod Podge or something on these. And I didn't because I want to get this video done. Um, <laughs> but if you want to seal the glitter, then um, that's most definitely something that you can do. Let's see. Make sure I get this glued on correctly. All right. Oh, I'm so happy for these to be done. I want to get my little bags on there. I love these. Anyway, let me finish putting the beads on the bottom here and let's get let's get our bags in here. I'm excited for that. All right, so got the beads on. This is what we have. All right, so let's get this stuff out of the way. I feel like this video is really long. I don't know, maybe because I had to keep going back and forth to the store to get what I needed. Um, I hate when I have to do that, but um, let's get some bags in here and let's try to get some different colored ones. You can see contrast here. All right. And of course, I will set these up and I will try to get a good picture for y'all so you can see what it looks like, you know, really all set up. Okay, how cute is that? So, yeah, if you're like me and you just like collecting things or if you've got kids that love these, why won't you go in there? There we go. If you've got kids that love these and you need some sort of storage idea, these are really really cool <laughs> oh goodness me and my toys anyway i hope that you enjoyed this i hope this was useful and it helped someone if you would please give this video a thumbs up click subscribe check me out on other forms of social media the links to all of which will be in the description box down below and i hope to see y'all next time bye